All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. And you can call me fat or call me whatever you want to call me, but I am genuinely excited about what I have with me today. So before I get into this, let me give y'all a little backstory real quick. There's a content creator's content that I follow on YouTube that about eight months ago, went to a Mexican restaurant up in New Jersey and got a bunch of food, but he got this sandwich in particular. And I remember watching that video like, man, that looks crazy. And thinking to myself, it's frustrating because even though our Florence food scene is changing and we're working on that, you know, and we'll talk about that a little bit more later, maybe, but we just don't have all these little gifts and gems tucked away in Florence and places to go get. And so that planted a seed. With that being said, when I go to a Mexican restaurant forever, at any point in time, I never order a torta. I never get one because I don't know. I just, I just get sandwiches in American cuisine. Like I never really think about getting a torta for whatever the reason, right? Like I normally get tacos or some dish with rice or something like that. So I got invited to lunch Tuesday and I said, you know what? I'm going to try a torta this time because that video was still in my mind from like eight months ago. And so when I get in there, I ask, I say, hey, um, do y'all have tortas? Because they're not on the menu. And she said, yeah, we do. We got them listed up front. And she starts explaining to me the ones that they have. And when she gets to this particular one, I'm like, yo, that's almost identical to what was in that video. And so naturally I ordered it. Now, this was just Tuesday. Today is Thursday. And I have it right in front of me because I got to share it with y'all. So we went to Las Pedritas. Now, if you remember, we highlighted Las Pedritas in our top five hidden gems in Florence a while back. This is the Torta Cubana de Milanesa de Res. That is a Torta Cubana is the name of the sandwich. And it's got breaded steak. But this thing is massive. And it's got a lot of stuff on it. This has breaded steak, lettuce, tomato, cheese, avocado, ham, chorizo, egg, and yes, those are hot dogs and uh, purple onion and beans. There's beans on here as well. You see the little grill marks on the hot dog there, the chorizo, the egg, the avocado. This thing is crazy. Now, before I get into it, I just want to say that I'm a big proponent of Pedritas. For me, they do not miss. They just don't. And it's not just that their recipes and their execution on the food is really good, but their consistency. Oh, and don't forget um, the flash fried Serrano. I'm a big fan of those. And I got a Jarritos Mandarin, but I'll come back to that in a minute. But yeah, a lot of restaurants struggle with consistency. I'll give you an example from a popular chain restaurant here locally is Chili's. And if you're in our area, then you already know where I'm about to go with this. Chili's for a chain restaurant has a fantastic menu. But our Chili's consistency is horrible. Pedrita's not only has a fantastic menu, but for me at least, they never miss. So yes, this is why I qualified it as a hidden gem. And you know what? Just eat the food. Y'all are ready for me to eat the food. So this is the Torta Cubana. And this is de Melanesa de Res. That is breaded steak. Get that bite with the egg on it. That breaded steak is tender. And because it's breaded, it's got a little crisp to it. <laughs> you got the ham, the beans, the eggs, the chorizo, the hot dogs. It's like an explosion of flavors. Uh, it's just nuts. I'm telling you, it really is. Now, this is the Jaritos Mandarin. A lot of the Jaritos flavors are good. The thing I like is they don't use corn syrup. It's just cane sugar. But I always like the Mandarin. And Nike put out some, like, exclusive limited edition Dunk Lowe's Jaritos. If anybody wants to buy me a pair of those, I'm a size 8.5, and, and I greatly would appreciate it. Ah, oh, man. This is, here, let's get another bite of this. Let's go from right here, from the back. The beans do something to tie it all together, and the cheese on this is grilled. I don't know how they do it. I'm assuming they take it and put the cheese on the bread and then lay it on a flat top and grill it, but the cheese on the bread is actually grilled on there. It's crazy. And then the Serrano that they give, I always love these. 
I mean, this is a whole meal in one sandwich. So like I said, I just had this Tuesday and I had to go back and get it again to show it to y'all. I would say the one that I had Tuesday was a little bit better, but that's because um, I had to drive this across town. So that one was, I was in the restaurant, so it was fresh straight from the kitchen to the table. And you can actually see where that cheese is grilled on there. You see that? See, in the culinary world, it's those little details like that that make all the difference. Their salsa verde is excellent. I make a lot of sauces at the house, like tomatillo, and I, I can't figure out how they're doing that one. I haven't dialed it in. I mean, I make some good sauces of my own, but like to replicate that one, I haven't figured out how to do it. They won't tell me. But this sandwich doesn't need any of that. I'm going to take that salsa home and use it for some chips. You got to go get one of these. If you're looking at this like I did when I saw that one eight months ago, and you're saying what I said, which was I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> you need to go down to Los Pedritas on Irby Street and check them out. They're right across from Leonard Trucking. It's right past um, KFC and Planet Fitness going down towards South Lawrence. And I'll put some images on your screen so you know what to look for because it would be easy to pass them by if you don't know where they are. But man, that is just top flight. I'm telling you, top flight. Tuesday, I was only able to eat half of it. All right, today we're going to eat the whole dang thing. Let's chat for a minute. Look at this. I mean, this thing is just like you have options in one sandwich. Where should you start? I don't know, with the avocado, with the steak, with the hot dog. With the egg and chorizo. So let's talk a little bit. This shirt just came in today. And I'm super pleased with the quality on this. And I just want to take some time to reiterate. Because a lot of you have joined the Facebook group we've got. So that's up to about 1,200 people now and counting. I mean, the people are adding to it daily. So we welcome y'all. But what the vision is on this is to band together a grassroots community. That's what we're trying to do. That is a grassroots community of citizens of our area that are passionate about food, hence the Florence Foodies. We brand that and then we gather and huddle around that brand and take that out into the community. That's the goal of these designs and this merchandise. And the end game is as we grow as a community, that we're able to actually impact positive change or development or growth of the food scene in Florence. So they'll say Florence isn't a foodie destination. And historically, certainly, they would be right. Let's get that ham right there. See, the ham's grilled. So everything's grilled, too. The ham, the hot dogs, even the serranos, flash fried, the bread. But you look at a town like Asheville and you say, that's a foodie destination. Sure. But what I'm saying is that as we grow as a community, we begin to develop in numbers on one accord, and we actually become a living metric for the growth of the food scene. What I mean by that is future investors or restauranteurs expanding their operations and exploring and going into other areas, all, all of that stuff. So there's a real purpose behind this whole Florence Foodies thing that I believe can actually have a real positive result that we're all going to be happy about. Uh, now, we're working on something to get this Florence Foodies merchandise away from a third party and then source it right through our own outlets or provide it through our own outlets. But that's in the work. In the meantime, we're drop shipping these through Printify, through Etsy. I'll put the links down in the description. But I'm super pleased with the quality on this. I mean, we went with the highest end they had. Our profit margins aren't super high because we went with the highest end. We wanted it to be a quality product because really we're more focused on the growth of the community because of the results that we're looking for. There are things happening in Florence. There are things behind the scenes happening in Florence that are very encouraging if you like food. All right, so, again, if you go to Pedritas, which you need to go to Pedritas if you like Mexican food and you're in our area, the first thing is you got to follow my pro tip even from the last video, which is order the pupusa. I get mine with chorizo. I think you can put about whatever you want on there. They're not on the menu. Now, they have started since putting them on a whiteboard at the front. You're going to want the pupusa. You can thank me later. But also the tortas. They've got a couple different options. You can get chicken. You can get the steak. But this is the cubana, which has all the other stuff on it. 
And again, they're on Irby Street, basically across the street from like the Granite Store, or the Pawn Shop, that spot right there on Irby. But really, everything I've had from them is good. A lot of times, my wife would get a chicken quesadilla. Everybody's got a chicken quesadilla, right? Even in that, there's the best one that I've had. I mean, it just is what it is. So cheers to Pedritas. All of their information has been in this video, and I'll put it down in the description so that you can find them and check them out. Uh, I'm certainly a big fan, and if you want to try a unique item that I don't think anybody else is offering in town that I know of, go up there and check out the Torta Cubana. So, fellow foodies from any part of the world that you may be watching, we appreciate y'all. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, give it a share. That really helps us out a lot, and we appreciate it. So, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Uh, I believe that you will, too. I appreciate y'all. Y'all take care, and we'll see you on the next video.